I think we can get started now. So welcome to APS Tuesday. It's actually my first event um, in the new year, in the new calendar year. So APS Tuesday is going to be uh, also this year, a series of uh, free weekly webinars regarding APS. Um, and uh, as far as I know, we, we keep the schedule uh, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central European time. Um, for the future. And with that, let me let me start. So I imagine you can see my screen. Uh, I am Peter, Peter Schlipf. I'm part of a APS developer ad advocate team. Um, I'm based in Germany in Munich, and I'm one of the few business people. The majority of our team are uh, tech guys or software engineers um and uh, i i try to to bring some light in in the aps um uh, autodesk platform services uh, offering for you so first of all i share some insights regarding our team um so we are the autodesk developer advocacy and support team is a global team of about 50 engineers. And as I, sa I said, most of, our, of them are software engineers. And we we do have some people like me in each region. So in Europe, it's Philip Müller and myself, uh, Julia yeah. in the North, North America, Silvio South America, and Max Toshiaki Viro in, in Asia, in the Asian areas, APEC. So that's, that's all, that's, that's our team, uh, not more. And we do our best to, to support you. The agenda for today is about the Autodesk platform services positioning. How do we position it in um, the overall Autodesk platform strategy? And why should you care about APS? How you can start a conversation in your organization if you are our customer or with your customers in the case that you are a software independent software vendor, for example. And at the end, I, I will um, I will also share uh, examples depending on your areas of interest. We do a short poll later, um, so one now and one later, in order to make sure that we and I cover the areas of interest. Um, and I at the end, I also will inform you about uh, upcoming upcoming events. Yeah. So that's uh, the the bootcamp. The bootcamp is actually already ongoing this week. It started uh, today is Tuesday, so it started yesterday. Um, now, before I before I continue, let's do the poll. Where is the poll? Where did they hide it here? Uh, poll screens. Okay, let's see. Feedback, interest. Um, All right, launch. So you tell me, please, uh, which areas of interest you prefer? Digital twin, dashboard, integrations, collaboration, configurator, prefab, catalog. Oh, this is interesting. Everything. Oh, okay. There's a. That's an that's an interesting crowd. So you're are interested in everything, and there is a kind of majority on hmm, dashboard configurator. All right. So then I try to be quick on the introduction, or quicker than normally, and spend more time on the examples to cover everything you. Even prefab and catalog. All right. Very nice. Cool. So I enter poll. 
um, and start directly to to speed up our and not to use too much time here. All right. So uh, back to the back to the terminology. Some of you might remember Autodesk Forge, and in many examples we are sharing later, or I am showing later, you will find the term. Forge. We started it back in 2016 with the terminology Forge and changed it last year. I think it was already 22 um, to Autodesk Platform Services in the context of the next level of evolution of Forge. You know? Autodesk Platform, Platform Services, I will now explain um, the positioning situation. First of all, uh, the umbrella of everything is the digital transformation. The digital transformation in your organization or your customer's organization will start in the office or in business integration area can some start on a collaborative level inside and outside the organization, CRM systems, whatever we do, Autodesk special offering or let's say philosophy is that we will support you from the first planning phase or design phase during the production to the uh, usage design make and use or in the in the ac architecture context we would call that planning construction and facility management this is very important um, and wherever you start at um, think about that this journey will not end if you start on the dashboard side or on a digital return side it will probably be enriched later by collaboration and automation. So this is this slide. We come back to this slide later, at least one more time, if not twice during this um, seminar or webinar. So the digital transformation is the overall umbrella of the Autodesk vision um, to support you on your journey of this digitizing an organization processes or company or customers projects. Autodesk platform services, APS will connect those design make data to the enterprise. That is a very key element because pretty new to Autodesk starting the next level of enterprise integration business. Not always, if you do a configurator or a catalog uh, software as a service, let's say application for your customers, you don't. You will not start that, but um, many of our, our experience shows that many of our customers sooner or later get on this level. Uh, Technology-wise, nothing changed since, since Forge. So this is um, standard technology. We, we trust in uh, WebGL, FreeJS is the, the engine of uh, um, the, the viewer, for example. We, we work with uh, Python uh, standard technology, GraphQL, RESTful API on the back end here. Um, so JavaScript, that is good news. Well, people, uh, young professionals out of school, university are on a full, they are full stack web developer or developer day. They do come with those skills. So here, nothing changed. Um, what changed is that we embed this <laughs> or position Autodesk platform service in the Autodesk overall platform strategy. So we said the umbrella is a digital journey of digital transformation. And now you hear us talking more and more about, not only about artificial intelligence, which is since the Autodesk University are very new, and broad approach as well, but uh, platform in the context of the industry clouds. So we talk about three industry clouds where we aggregate the different cloud solutions. Forma is a, the name, the branding for the industry cloud and for the product. Space Maker now Forma is a product, the industry cloud as well, to make it even more complicated uh, for you, um, the former APIs, which are part of APS, same on the flow and fusion side. Um, so industry clouds and Autodesk platform services are embedded in between. So we contribute to the former industry cloud and the former industry cloud um, solutions contribute back contribute back to APS. So this is um, an ongoing process which is developed over time 
Um, and that's why Autodesk Platform Services APS is uh, positioned here on this slide in between those uh, industry clouds. Yeah, and uh, the next maybe a bit easier to to get and understand is we have desktop products as always on one side and cloud services on the other side. The industry cloud sooner or later will aggregate also customer data and um, in between underlaying, but also in between Autodesk platform service, which is a development platform. So you need coding skills to specify, simplify uh, reports, um, personal, personalize um, or individualize your process and workflows, right? So desktop cloud services and all those cloud services like Fusion Physics, the um, ACC are built with APS components. So we are the probably, not probably, we are the number one consumer for our services and cloud products of APS. And also this platform service um, as a development platform, right? So I hope that brings a little bit more light in this uh, situation. And APS again is split into the solutions themselves. So the APIs like uh, data exchange, design automation API and so on. Um, and then the app store, because now the app store includes also APS empowered solutions, especially in the ACC, Fusion and BIM 360 area, as well as the entire ecosystem um, of our team access, support, activities, information, events, and so on. Right? So those are the three elements and um, segments. Let me see, I have one, one comment. Bootcamp has been great so far from Paul. Okay, cool, good. Thanks for this comment. Boot, um, we talk about the bootcamp later. Now, this is a, this is a relatively um, traditional slide, which was actually two slides about that. Um, approach that uh, or information for you um, that the Autodesk platform services support 70 plus file formats. In order to avoid silo situations in your company, in your organization, in your customer's organization and connect with different areas. We said we talk about enterprise business integration, um, Forge now APS will connect design and make data into the enterprise and this is exactly uh, what will happen. We have uh, here um, different formats from Autodesk and outside Autodesk in the AC world as well as here in the manufacturing environment. And that is cool because now you don't need to switch to inventor if your customer or Let's say if it's in your own organization, uh, your colleagues work with Katia, you keep Katia and still can work with Autodesk platform services. Same for the customers, or it's a hybrid uh, situation, um, a mixed environment. No problem. Um, we work with the data, with the data you you will find um, at your customer or you you use the formats, you products you use in your own organization. And this is one of the key elements because we are here now with um, Autodesk platform services, uh, independent or agnostic from the format side and uh, offer um, a very broad solution. I, I will not dig into the different um, APIs, but just the... Uh, that we name some that you have heard of it. Uh, it's in the in the meantime, it's a, a pretty long list of uh, different solutions. Most of them are free of charge. Um, in this presentation, I don't go into details regarding pricing and um, business models. Um, if you need information regarding price, uh, detailed information about pricing and business models. 
reach out to me and we do an individual session. But just so far, all most of them are, are free of charge. So overall, the Autodesk Platform Services Development Platform is a, a service for you, which is kind of free. If there's only the design automation APIs, here you see the logos, uh, AutoCAD, Revit, 3D, um, uh, Inventor, 3D Studio Max, and Civil for 3D, for example, cost money depending on the computing time, but this is modest money. There's some cloud credits or flex tokens per computing hour. This is not a big deal. And the other one which costs money is model derivative API, which is responsible for the translation of these 75 plus, 70 plus formats. And here it's not computing time. It is a uh, be charged by translation. The, the rest is free. And even those are, um, the model derivative, for example, will not be activated if the data is already in a repository of ACC, for example, or Fusion. So the cost situation is super um, easy and uh, in, in many cases neglectable. Okay, now um, this is important. Where do we start a discussion in our organization? Uh, where do you start a, 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 a conversation with your partners, customers, or future customers? This is those four, and it uh, reflects the poll what we said at the beginning. Um, those four are the main areas of activities in our ecosystem dashboards and the logic, let's say, next level of dashboarding or digital dashboards for better digital, um, visual, visual insights, I should say, the logic consequence often, but not always, are digital twins. And um, maybe a, a short positioning regarding, you hear digital twins in the Autodesk Tandem context, and in the APS context, it's a bit broader beyond Tandem. And it's, it's again a bit complex complicated to understand because tandem apis are listed here on the aps solutions but it's also a product um, and overall you can go beyond tandem using uh, aps solutions for example for for manufacturing uh, assemblies or any other uh, activities which go beyond um, commercial office buildings and then we have the uh, ERP, CRM, ACC, in, so enterprise business integration segment, configurators and uh, automation, not always, but sometimes um, at least on the technology level uh, combined, um, configurators are normally realized with design automation API. And some of you voted also uh, to see examples on catalog and prefabrication. Prefabrication is pretty cool. Uh, we, I, I do have some nice uh, examples. And that is um, that area is also, can be part of industrialized uh, construction in the future. So that that's our experience where our customers and partners are building activities, solutions, projects with formerly Forge now APS. And this is uh, why our customers do that. When I remember my um, my last trips to Nordic, Scandinavia, we will see, we, you hear very often at the very beginning, safety. Safety, again, increasing safety, avoiding um, accidents and so on. That, that depends on the market. Uh, in other areas, it's, it's more the, the cost and profit situation. Also depending on the market, uh, and a competition situation. Sustainability is a, a growing market segment um, of approach overall, everywhere, um, not, on, not only in Europe, also in China, for example. Um, I don't know uh, who is from Germany here in this call, but uh, we, we have uh, enough examples of wrong decisions to in, in, in governmental projects in Germany, which led into disaster uh, kind of uh, cost situations. And here we try to, to help and to 
provide the tools for better and faster decisions and in a consequence to avoid um, exploding costs yeah. and difficult discussions on the political side. And so. New products and services, so a applications. For some of you and some of our partners, um, APS-based applications are the, the base of the business uh, post um, published in the app store or not, depending on the business approach. That is the why. So, um, and my experience with customer con conversations or observing projects is that uh, in, in most of the cases, not in all, but in, in many at least, um, we start at one area and continue in the next because customers and their end customers realize that, for example, a better transparency in order to be more efficient and cost uh, critical could lead into uh, better, better decisions because the transparency was created to improve um, to improve the cost situation, but at the end, uh, the real effect is uh, a better win rate, for example. So we um, short provide the right information to the right people on time, at the right time, uh, early enough, not too late, and as often as, as needed. Um, the, on the next slide, I would like to share with you some information regarding the ecosystem we are now at uh, I, um, the exact number is 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 uh, changing every day but it is um, more than 4000 active accounts um, developer individuals are probably three times more so some of those examples uh, you might have seen so this is a mix of independent software vendors and company customers as well as uh, resellers. Um, on the next one, each logo represents a partner integrating, uh, hooking into Autodesk Construction Cloud in different areas. Yeah. There are some hardware companies like, like Faro, um, or like uh, geosystems, you know, on, on the other side, it's, it's uh, companies who, who directly um, work with, um, with data or on the financial side. Overall, it is pretty complete now. The ecosystem around the Autodesk Construction Cloud is um, on the, that's a complementary offering for you as a customer and you you can find in each of those uh, individual segments even more um, areas of interest on your customers on the customer side that is a super cool um, approach for for new business in other words autodesk absolutely depends on on the ecosystem because we deliver the autodesk development platform as a service uh, for you, but not the, the individual um, solutions. That is uh, part of the ecosystem. And here, um, another information regarding, um, sorry, I thought it comes a number, no, no number. It's about 50, uh, before we called it system integrators, now the new brand is um, Autodesk Platform Services Certified Partner. So each of those partner partners, past um, a technical interview or a certification, let's say, um, proving their competence on uh, on APS. So each of those companies is is in a position to to provide you if you are a customer with uh, um, an offering regarding um, the realization of APS empowered projects. Some of those companies are. Autodesk Consulting is part of it, but uh, maybe I should uh, explain. Autodesk Consulting is covering uh, maybe 5% of the entire market on, on the named account side, and all the rest has to be done 
and will be done by our ecosystem partners. Some are also resellers. You find many machine grade tech. Uh, the majority are independents of the vendors. I know many of them, not all, but the majority from not from the you know, some of them from the beginning. And I can tell you that uh, there are a couple of companies who started with Forge at the time and established their business around it and, and are pretty good growing. Okay, um, that's that was the the general information regarding the positioning, um, the market segments, uh, what customers are, are doing with that and why. And here's um, an information regarding our support. So Stack Overflow, uh, you know that it's the first level um, and you, you can directly uh, on our website uh, post um, by email a support case or you reach out to us um, we do have um, business and technical uh, meetings. You directly book in this doctors is in calendarly based area on the business and uh, on the tech side. And each representative, so from our team, tells you on the bus on the website where the areas of ex expertise are. Or you write directly to, to me um, on my peterdolchlip at autodesk.com email address and I connect you with the, if I can't do it myself, with the correct um, colleagues or even teams in some cases. I promised you to inform you about um, upcoming events. Uh, this picture is actually from a former accelerator in uh, our Barcelona office. There will be uh, an accelerator in Barcelona again in September, but the next one in a uh, live one in Europe is um, Munich, April 15 to 19 in our office. Uh, in addition to that, uh, if you want to see the entire list, go to aps.autodesk.com in a community, community tech, you find uh, a, a long list of virtual and physical or well, live events. It's free of charge. We allow between 15 and 20 attendees per event on the physical one. Or the virtual or can, can become larger. It's five days from Monday morning to Friday, let's say late, late morning or early afternoon. Um, it's for started projects, so it's for advanced users. It's not for the beginning. The bootcamp is for beginners. This is for projects which ideally had been started. You sent us um, an application, and we um, we actually then uh, decide whether it makes sense to, to become part of the accelerator and help you to to get uh, to the result at the end on a Friday. Everybody who likes to do that can can present the the exam. Um, the the results yeah. we usually come with a team of between four and six experts to the physical events the, um, sometimes we combine it with the um, virtual event at the virtual level we have more people but it's a bit different because the direct uh, personal contact is is different the bootcamp is running now. We offer um, a bootcamp, I think, at least every quarter now. Um, in the in the old days, some of you might remember. I, I'm not sure, uh, or from colleagues, that it uh, it was offered it, most of the time around April and September. Um, the demand is still extremely high. Uh, we have, uh, I think the registration number right now was about uh, a 1,000 and we have more than 200 um, actually participating, which is extremely good. And that, that is the reason why we offer more. The target audience, I repeat, is uh, different to Accelerate as well as our starting starters. Um, and we guide you through the different elements of, um, of APS technology. And it's not five days, it's um, 
four days live with the guy with guided support good um that was a boot camp and the last and also very important information this is a um, of official information but it's not yet published on our website uh, we are going to publish the date of the defcon uh, may 28 to 29 in munich as soon as uh, our systems are set so the registration system and the uh, agency who's behind that are, are ready uh, to go we expect that uh, i think uh, mid of um, february but you can keep um, and block the date if you're interested. Um, this is a, a pan-European, if not global event, um, but uh, the majority will probably be uh, com participants come from Europe. May 28 to 29, Munich. Um, we expect more attendees compared to last year, and that's why we will run it in an external uh, location called Smart Village in, in Munich, Bogenhausen. This is for both, for developers and business people, CTOs, CEOs, or product management. Um, the, agenda will, the agenda will be split. We are actually working on, on the agenda split into um, the developer technical and a business development track. Yeah. At DEFCON, uh, I, I will, if if my uh, submission of my lesson will uh, be accepted, I will again, like last year, talk about uh, in detail about the business models and pricing models. All right. Um, now, with that, I come back to the journey of a digital transformation. I hope that did bring some light into this um, new for many of you and also for Autodesk, new enterprise level of a business. Um, and uh, I repeat, we, and this is pretty special uh, from the Autodesk uh, offering side, we, we are covering um, the complete timeline, the complete life cycle of design, make and use, as well as we are more and more um, supporting converging markets on the construction and the manufacturing side. That is uh, another speciality if you work with Autodesk. Okay, now examples. Uh, now I, I need to be <laughs> pretty, how to say, serious to cover everything and not to spend too much time on the individual areas. Uh, let's see how, how far we come. Uh, the first one is about dashboards, digital in, dig, um, better uh, visualization on digital data, converted in meaning from the data, that kind of stuff. Here's a uh, pretty traditional one, which is uh, uh, an easy, let's say, way to demo a 3D model of a project or a product. And here, for those of you who know the, 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 the Forge or APS menu of a viewer, that's a simplified menu. Look, we, we have a, in this case, it's a model car and uh, a simplified menu. One, two, three, four, five, only five menu points. Yeah? And uh, you can imagine that kind of stuff on a, on a web page um, or in a document um, and so on. Now, this is uh, pretty easy. And um, let me let me go back and show you the next level. For example, something like uh, a Wi-Fi. You have a building. Imagine a building, and it's about positioning something. In this case, uh, simulating the Wi-Fi coverage in the building. Um, signal attenuation per per meter in the air, right? You can also do that uh, fader, enable dynamic motor. So that, that is um, an easy exercise you can imagine for any other um, parameters in a building. Um, by the way, here is still the Forge logo and there's, there's more stuff in a the gallery. You know? 
if you find this website there's lots of lots of easy examples that that's the first level and something i i've shown you um on on this level is is doable in a in a couple of minutes with some html code uh, in in this in this case, it's even uh, connected with a with a database and a cost situation. So well, it's all already a a simple integration in the in the ERP system. So dashboards, dashboarding, um, digital data visualization in in connection. I think we can even change values here. Let me try price for aluminium. We we change it from ten to. Hundred, and then we see this changing here, or we can also change recurrency, that kind of stuff. Okay, that is the starting point. Um, now here, let me click on this one. Um, it's about forty. I think I need to activate it here. Click. Okay, facing. Um, this is a. A requirement of many customers who want to see the development of a project so the timeline shows the progress so you can simulate um, the progress of the project till the end of the project when it's done so that kind of uh, simulation is Depending on the on the time schedule, is also a uh, uh, often used case, use case. Now dashboard. What else on the dashboard? I do, here they we aggregated um, some examples which are actually more um, more about digital twins already. But let me maybe it's it's interesting to click on this one. Um, that is uh, a plant. 2D and 3D connected. Uh, if you look at, let's click on this tank or whatever it is, and you find it here in the 2D plan. So this kind of um, documentation or visualization of this 2D and 3D uh, connection is also an easy exercise, which is relatively quickly done. And now um, I start a video. Let's get running this one and I stop talking and we watch this video. Is it, is it this one or is it the next one? Or we can also, let's look at this. There's no sound. So you can read what's going on here. It's on reconstruct. That is already a, a advanced uh, dashboarding because it's um, integrating many different um, project element point clouds, BIM files, um, and it is comparing the actual situation on the construction side with the past and the future. In those um, projects, many partners already used years ago artificial intelligence elements uh, in order to get rid of dust, uh, uh, for example, um, trash, uh, and calculate only um, the relevant construction elements. So here we go into the indoor view, the 360 video can be done with point clouds, but I also have seen examples with simple, um, I was at Swissbo uh, last week in Switzerland with simple cameras. Yeah? So depending on the use case, if you work with craftsmen, you don't, you just need the dimensions, that's all, all, all possible. Okay, dashboards. So now we go, I need to skip this. S sorry, because we need to go to um, digital twin, the next level. Uh, I think digital twin wa was one of the, most voted areas, and uh, I have nice examples for you. Um, so I come back to my point where we said um, it's for both markets, not just digital commercial trends of buildings, also in the manufacturing environment. 
And here in this, uh, that's done by my colleague Peter Pro Peter Bros. He he created this. This is not a customer project. This is a um, and is a sample we we he created um, to showcase how uh, you can imagine such um, a demo for also for uh, parameters like uh, performance maintenance. So in this case, it's a turbine. Um, uh, aircraft turbine and uh, let me see let's i want to isolate that isolate or hide let's let's hide it we hide a selected you go you can go deeply into into this uh, digital twin and uh, in parallel uh, simulate or imagine how um, performance like parameters like speed vibrations can be uh, showcased in combination with the maintenance report, revision history, um, statistics, issues. I think if I click on issues, yeah, you find issues here, all the issues, it's all documented, right? Um, also the statistics and even procurement. So we actually know um, who bought, uh, which supplier delivered which um, assembly, which part. So this is a digital digital twin demo on the um, manufacturing side of this fantastic turbine engine. And uh, here we are in a different area. Um, I want to show IVIVA. This is about an airport and this is very advanced because you can directly interact and switch values. So this was IVIVA, and here you can see it was a very advanced digital twin example where you directly work um, with the values uh, on the facility management side. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there was a question in the audience um, regarding uh, regarding the APS Tuesdays, and yes, uh, maybe that was a misunderstanding. The content each Tuesday is the same, so it's uh, repetitive. Uh, we do not vary the themes um, only depending on the audience. Sometimes it's more uh, catalogs um, like today. And uh, so I'm sorry if that was a misunderstanding. You can you can attend more of them, but normally it's uh, if you do one, you, you got that and they are recorded. Okay, uh, that was... That is too noisy. Let's let's skip that. This is another example from a partner in uh, Norway, Moikon, and they do digital twins of mid-size factories. In this in this example, it's about particle sensors. So, if it gets too dirty, the air for the production of the sensor realizes it and um, automatically um, activates uh, ventilation filtering. Um, and they they also do. 
um, on the digital twin side, um, optimization of um, to avoid of the um, I, I should call that uh, to avoid bottlenecks optimization of the I miss the right word um, let's say the uh, the material buffer so that here you can see that so they try to avoid and minimize uh, distances for the vehicles um, which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, they work with timber factories or fish factories, also mid-sized companies. Um, and the next example is is more, it's a larger uh, project compared to a, a small factory. This is a, a large highway um, project in Norway where it's segmented in kilometer segments. So I click, for example, in kilometer two, and I see loading um, this segment of the infra of this very large infrastructure project. And here on kilometer five, we can even see um, a photo situation. Yeah. Or on kilometer seven, uh, they added um, additional diagrams, right? So, I think you get the idea how how far that can go on the infrastructure side. By the way, uh, I have seen at Swissball last week, I've seen uh, an example where the partner realized uh, a dashboard of a large um industrial area where the customer uh, and they used uh, s reviewer for the uh, gis model and later for the buildings with forge aps viewers or even even not, not actually now we can combine uh, both worlds if for the large environmental or infrastructure model s3 is needed that is now pretty open um from my point of view is very good news now the next um the, let me go to the to the next um, area, and that is ERP. I think ERP was a lower lower interest, but I still well, some people voted for it. Um, let me um, show you this one because I know this company. It's Intelsys, and they are specialists on the SAP Autodesk integration. Let's uh, watch this video.
Okay, so this was an SAP integration model with uh, APS. And uh, now let me go back. to my slideshow and uh, I will jump to the configurator and uh, design automation areas. So um, let me let me see. An easy one is uh, this wheel and we can look at it live, how to configure uh, this if it's loading. We need a, a moment. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now I let me quickly change from chrome to aluminum, from light red to, let's say, light orange, uh, cast iron break to ceramic. And then takes uh, maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and you're going to see. Then you, oh, it was even quicker. Uh, then you product, right? That is uh, an easy one. Um, oh, this one is, is about shades. Yeah. It's called Shedmade, a partner from Australia. Okay, so that was Shedmate. Uh, we also have examples from the consumer market. That is, uh, this was created by a partner in Sweden. Um, I think a reseller partner, it's about shower cabinets. So pretty easy. You can imagine any kind of product which can be configured, um, realized by that. Um, I accelerate that a little bit so that you don't use up too much of your time. And this is at the end, comes also with the documentation. Um, and uh, in the ideal case, connected to the production side of the, of the manufacturer. Okay. So um, let me see what else. Now we what we need is um, catalog and prefabrication. So let me switch to catalog.
skip replication. I haven't used this example for a long time. Let me see what comes. There's a video behind. So this is a pretty long video. I accelerate a little bit um, to the end. Yeah, that is a very, very important market for us. Uh, industrialized production, industrialized construction, in this case, is um, is a very broad market for our customers. I think uh, everybody will agree. Um, now, it's missing the catalog. Uh, I have a very nice example from our partner in uh, Cardshare in Belfast. And uh, they do they do a software as a service catalog offering. You can uh, subscribe for a year or so. And uh, the typical customers are manufacturers of small machinery or vehicles like, like you see here. Um, so let me show you that as the last example before we finish our session. It's it's um it's more about spare part ordering than um configuration. So the spare part market is is extremely important because many of the manufacturers are earning more money with the spare parts compared to the original product. Um and we see those examples in Markets like this with smaller machinery as well as big cement mach machines or paper machines. The larger, more co the co more complex it is, the m more important it might be. Okay, um, I think those had been my examples. I'm not sure if somebody voted for AR. I don't think so. So I go back to my presentation and. Uh, I promised you we go. We come back to the journey of a digital transformation. Um, we spoke about what is it, why is it important that you and your customers care. How some examples how other companies started with this journey. Um, and uh, if you want to hear more about um, pricing and uh, market, go to market and business models reach out to me directly and uh, I, I explain that. Uh, open for chat. I don't see any questions right now. So let let me let me know if you have any any questions. We have some minutes left. It looks like there's any nothing open. So then let me do a last poll back. Uh, feedback, is that the right? Post webinar survey. No, that's, that's the one. 
please let us know if you find it useful somehow or not at all. Okay. Thank you. And the poll here. And um, and with that, I'm on time. There's no other question or no no question at all, <laughs> I should say. I thank you for attending this APS Tuesday. If you find it interesting, um, inform your colleagues. Again, the content is uh, pretty much similar. So the first part is the same, um, depending on the person who talks. You have three or four persons who talk, and the examples depend on your demand. But uh, it's repetitive, that's true. Yeah. Um, and uh, keep the dates. I communicated for boot camps and uh, accelerators and uh, DEF CON and inform your colleagues and peers and um, talk about it. So with that, I, I stop sharing and end it here. Thank you and have a nice, uh, nice evening yourself. Bye-bye.